Hey guys, I'm at the post office. About to check this um, P.O. box. Just got the phone <laughs> with my nephew. I was gonna call and see if he wanted me to um, um what's this? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna get this to the clerk. Take a nap? Yes. Mm -hmm. I know. I said good job, Miles. Let's wish it back to one. Yes. Come on, help you. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for this guy, and then I'm gonna um, pull up at Bridget's because I'm gonna spend a day around it, my nephew. I'm gonna run him to the store when I pull up, and then um, going out. She's supposed to fry up some chicken. I know she said she fried some tilapia, but I don't eat tilapia. Last name? Bogier. I was trying to clear some of the keys up. So I know, I heard it, but they keep calling us. All right. I'm Elvin. Yes, sir. Hello. How are you? Thanks so much. Have Thank a great day. You too. Um, I'm Jelly Bean, so got my package. They put that yellow envelope in there because they say it was too big to go in. Um, <clears throat> and the boxes, I guess, so. That's how that went. Oh. Wait a minute. You hold it. Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, I thought you were trying to bear one hell since you back in with Oh, no, man. <laughs> Wait a minute, guys. Oh, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna get ready to go and pick him up. Honey didn't want to, um, I'm not gonna sit y'all up here in the thing because, um, it'll run hot because it's hot out here today. And I just threw on the same thing I had on yesterday. I did, um, what you call it? Freeze up. Um, I had small, small, full, small freezer bags. I um, I didn't fill them up to the rim because I know when it freeze it expand. So I filled it up to a certain point and I put them in the deep freezer. And then um, I had a, a container with a lid, like a Tupperware container, and I um, pulled um, some in that uh, good size container. And I put that in the refrigerator freeze, and then I had a little bit of left that I put in this container, like you get uh, like Chinese food in, the little black long containers. I put that in there and put that in the freezer. So that that one, when I go to use something that makes something, that one I'll use first. And which I'll probably go here because I've been having a taste for that, um, for um, some type of, I ain't gonna say like lasagna. I do have a taste for lasagna. But it's not going to be like lasagna because I don't have no lasagna pasta. But, um, yeah, and just boil them a um, little bit of um, zucchini pastas that I got. And then put uh, ground beef with a sprinkle some cheese over and then put that in a toaster oven. And let that be that. So, I'll probably make that tomorrow or something like that. But, um, yeah, guys. Alright, so, I'll see y'all once I... Um, get up here at Bridges because I got to call my nephew and let him know when I'm close so he can make his way down the steps. <laughs> All right, I'll be back, guys. Uh-uh. All right, Jelly Beans, made it here at Bridget. She made some chicken. That chicken look good. I'm about to, huh? Oh, uh-uh. I'm showing another food, girl. Got some rice here too. Oh, I'm trying to hold y'all because I ain't got um, <laughs> I ain't got to trap yeah.
So yeah. Oh. Oh, it's corn. It's corn. Oh, this look like this is spinach. This spinach says yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm about to um I'm trying to sit y'all somewhere while I'm making my... Oh, making my plate. Hey, Jelly Beans. And our quote for today is, Cultivate your inner fortress without letting them dictate your self-worth or emotional state when someone is trying to make you feel guilty Maintain your tranquility, ensuring that your peace of mind remains steadfast. I'm having my dinner. if you feel like walking and go over this way. Huh? My purse, because I can hang it on this chair. I'm just saying right All jelly beans i just wanted to come on for a quick second and just talk with you guys because i've been trying to motivate myself guys to um go ahead on and get started just a little small section with a coffee nook at and behind a microwave and go ahead and get that wallpaper uh put up there and um <clears throat> i'm telling you guys i don't know why i I'm just hesitant to do it or like procrastinating about it or whatever you want to call it. I just do not feel like um, I got to push myself to do it. Just like I had to push myself to start on it in the kitchen and it just went along good. It was easy. I had fun. <laughs> so sorry. I really have to go ahead and just push myself to do it. I'm telling you. <laughs> I really do, guys, because I want to get it out the way, and I need, I want to get that roll of um, peeling stick from off of the deep freezer that been sitting there for months. I want to go ahead on and put this thing up on the wall and go ahead so I can put that up in a closet. So, just pray for me. <laughs> and, yeah, pray that God give me motivation to go ahead and get that out the way, because... I'm tired of looking at it. And you would think with me being tired of looking at it, that that'll make me go ahead on and do it even more to just get it out the way. But I just cannot, for the life of me, um, just go ahead and do it and get it out the way. So this is what this week is going to be about. Pushing myself to go ahead and do the Lord. Tedious Lord touch-ups and stuff that I have to do. I want to sit down and start... Um, uh, doing my Bible exercise uh, with this other book that I got and it's supposed to help you um, you know get to learn the Bible and stuff like that 
you know, so it's like a beginner little book, a beginner type of Bible learning book, like for kids. And I haven't even started that yet. So after I take care of my little tedious stuff and then with doing these clothes, um, I'm going to definitely sit down and get back started with doing what I have to do um, far as this Bible and just really getting back on track. So what I'm going to do is make a list. And once I complete each of those, I'm going to just check it off and just go down that list of everything I got to do. And once I complete it, just, you know, start checking it off. So maybe that'll motivate me and, and help me out, give me some type of oomph to do the things that need to be done. So I just wanted to come on and say that because I'm quite sure, you know, it's plenty of you guys out there that struggle with the same thing sometimes. So, yeah. All right, Jelly Bean, sitting here with my nephew. He trying to um, get ready to show me a little bit of this movie. I'm trying to see if I saw it before. Mockingbird don't sing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, put it on the TV. Uh uh. I was just talking to you, Dom. Yeah, so. Oh. My Jelly Beans, my vlog. Why, wow, you want to say hi to my subscribers? I'm recording. And then I put it up on YouTube. That's you? Yeah. Right, you don't know nothing about my YouTube channel? So you don't watch me on YouTube. Channel when, yo, you know why? <laughs> I was thinking about, I was like, Gina probably stopped cooking because I started looking at girls, right? And I was like, oh, they got all that booty shorts and ass out. I was like, I didn't even know they was cooking. <laughs> That's I was weird. like, that's probably why Gene and probably were like, man, y'all. <laughs> like, they, they putting that ass out there. I was like, oh, that's <laughs> probably why Gene and probably. Oh, my goodness. That's what I thought. I was like, hey, God. Anyway, he about to be looking up this day on movie. So I could, um, I'm trying to see if I saw it before. Mockingbird don't, don't sing. And let me know um, down below if y'all ever heard of that. You talking to me? I'm talking to my jelly beans. <laughs> he still ain't getting it. <laughs> oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. Girl, you're near taking care of business. She was just got the phone with sugar. So we just sitting here chilling, guys. And, um, yeah, that's that. Just taking y'all along with my day. And now, um, when I get back home, I'm going to open up the uh, package and we see what we got. I'll show y'all how I froze up my um, my homemade sauce. I still got the um, bell peppers and the zinc in a bowl. Um, I had let them soak for a while yesterday with vinegar. And then I... Um, and sometimes, even though I use, uh, I always soak my stuff with vinegar, um, water and vinegar. And um, sometimes um, I do slice a lemon and I squeeze lemon juice up in there and just throw that other half of that lemon in there and let it soak too. Because the acid um, takes off everything, you know, what's ever on there too. So even if you don't have vinegar and you have lemon um, or lime, you can squeeze that in your water over your, your meat, your veggies, or whatever that you're cleaning. And, um, yeah, and the acid, that'll clean it too. But, yeah, I always uh, put vinegar in water and, you know, soak it and clean my stuff. So, I know the um, peppers is already dried off, so all I got to do is cut them up. But I got to get freezer bags. I don't have any more freezer bag. I used the last four, like I told you guys, for um my sauce and then I had to put the rest in the bowls. So I'm gonna have to um get some freezer bags and cut up them bell peppers and put them up. Alright, well I'm gonna call y'all back. My nephew about to take a phone call. Alright Charlie Beans, I'm leaving my Sister house and my nephew, Bridget already been left out. She had to go take care of some business. So I did my nephew and um yeah, wait a minute. Alright, Charlie Beans. Yeah, I just left my nephew 
And like I said, my sister already left out because she has some stuff to do. It's quarter to eight, so he was on the phone. The family, you know, of course, everybody calling them and giving their condolences and stuff like that. So he was just talking to you. Uh, my sister that lived down in Minnesota, we was talking with her for a good while while we was watching a movie and then her son called, which is my nephew down in Minnesota, and he been talking to him for a while, so that's why I told him I was just about to go. I made sure that I wrapped honey up some of that chicken. Bridget told me to make sure I take bro some. <laughs> she always looking out for her brother. And um oh, I'm sorry, this is that. I gotta get a new one of those and I definitely gotta get me a handheld tri tripod for the house but um yeah guys I had a next nice time with my nephew sitting in he had me watching um mockingbirds don't sing that's a sad sad movie but it's, it's still you know something to watch but it's a sad movie but I liked it I told him it was you know almost near the end still probably had like 20 more minutes of the movie i told him i watched the rest and it's on tubi if any of you guys want to um see it it's on it is on tubi so y'all can go on tubi and watch it i don't know if netflix have it on there or what but i know he had went on tubi and um typed it in and that's what we was watching off of tubi i thought it was something that i saw before <laughs> And he kept saying, oh, Gina, I don't, you ain't see this. I don't think you saw this movie. And he was right. I didn't ever see that movie before. So, um, yeah, like I said, if you want to look it up, it's a good movie. It's a sad movie. And it's also based on a true story. So if you guys want to watch it, go look at it on, um, if you have Tubi, look at it on Tubi. Or I'm quite sure if you have a fire stick, you can type it in on a fire stick. And that'll definitely, uh something that'll be on the fire stick and I don't know try Netflix because Netflix probably got it on there too but he just know that he had watched it off of Tubi so that's why he went on Tubi and typed it in yeah guys so I, um, I'm gonna wait and pick up my medicine tomorrow because honey have to um, get uh, his medicine and stuff tomorrow too when he go to the um the doctors so i gotta be up early he gotta be there 8 30 so that mean at 7 30 we want to be leaving out the house and um yeah well quarter to eight we'll be leaving out the house and um we get them there on time so yeah so i said i'll just wait then and um and stuff. I had uh, bought the little change for my sister so I could get my, you know, medicine and stuff like that tomorrow. So, yeah. Because I know with the other ones they add on, it came over $3. And then with Honey's, his cost too. So at least that way I know we'll have enough money, you know, to get all our medications tomorrow. So wouldn't no need to go on today and then turn around and I gotta go back to the pharmacy tomorrow. So I did call and let them know that. So they already know we're gonna pick everything up tomorrow along with his. So yeah guys, that's that. I really enjoyed myself. My nephew, he um you know he's in uh good spirits so well, you know, kinda sorta. You know how how it is. You know, he lost his dad. He lost one of his parents, so yeah. But um he ain't really one every time the phone break, he kept saying, I don't wanna talk to nobody. I said, Boo, they just calling and you know, giving you their condolences and stuff like that. I said, you know, we family you know the family gonna be checking in on you. And I mean after he put the phone down, another phone call come in. He like, Oh <laughs> but then he wind up happy when he talking to him on the phone and he talking and he you know, having a nice time and stuff like that. So, I'm glad, I'm happy for him that he been, you know, answering the phone and talking because it been lifting up his spirits and stuff like that. So that's a good thing. Yeah. And uh, of course, he talked to his grandmother, which is my mom. 
um, talk to Sugar today and yesterday because of course you know Sugar gonna make sure uh, she is you know calling her grandson making sure he okay so when I was door dashing. I haven't done door dashing in a while. And that's only because my body can't um, take getting uh, in and out the car and stuff like that. Because when I do that at long periods of time, my knees will start um, bothering me. Even when my back was fine, my knees were still messed up. But um, when I first got DoorDash, I was working and doing that. And um, I actually like doing DoorDash, you know. Not only do it give you something to do and you making money, but, you know, it's just, I don't know. I just I just enjoyed it. I didn't mind it. And then you meet some, um, some nice people you meet. You know, you always got them ones. But that's life. So I'ma um pull right here at this bank machine because uh my sister had sell the change to my bank account and I don't want to have to uh. I just need to get this change out. Um, wait a minute, guys. Ooh. I 
I'm tired. And I don't know why I'm tired. It wasn't like I it ain't like I was up, you know, like early early in the morning. Nobody behind me. Huh? I thought somebody was gonna be behind you, girl. Oh, wait a minute. that I gotta go um straight up the street and oh no I could run right here and to Dollar Tree be so high though when I can just I mean not Dollar Tree um Dollar General because Dollar General would be close well I'ma just ride up the street to um Dollar Tree and go ahead on and get um yeah I'ma just go ahead on and get my freezer bag somebody because they're on the dollar twenty five cent versus going to um uh, what you call it, Dollar General, and they'd be like four dollars or something. Cause Dollar General, well, at least I don't know about anybody else. Dollar General, but our Dollar General be high with their stuff. I thought our Family Dollar, uh, Family Dollar be okay with certain things. We only go in there and get, but sometimes some of their little stuff, they, at least they do have deals, and some of their stuff be could be a little high sometimes. But Dollar General is higher than um Dollar family dollar that's what i'm trying to say yeah dollar dollar general is higher than uh family dollar stay focused and pay attention wait a minute because this is not where i'm oh this is oh it brought me this way okay let me get over here Oh, so I don't even have to be going all off and doing that what we be doing. When they bring just bring you right here and you come straight okay. Anyway, guys, I'm just learning some new stuff. New different ways. Cause honey is the one that um you know, as we grew up and parted ways, you know, and became uh young adults and moved away from um you know, our neighborhood and stuff like that. This is his area where he was moved at out here in the county. So he know every which way to go out here. Me, I don't know nothing about being up. I didn't know anything about being up here. So me learning how to get around and knowing how to get around ways, I learned that from um from my husband. So in which I learned pretty quick, and I know um, most ways, you know, like simple things of getting around, going places. But um, yeah he know about all up in here and I'm thinking that this was going to take me somewhere else and it took me right here down the street from <laughs> from our house so that's funny but anyway I see y'all will be getting Dollar Tree alright guys we get Dollar Tree I'm going to go ahead and get these um... oh I gotta slow down my knee keep buckling. Don't let it say that. Just go eat on up. Just walk on up here. I think it's over on up. Is it on this side? I'm not sure. Sometimes I gotta need to remove. Oh no, it's down this way. Oh, look at that little balls. I like this ball. I like this. Here we go. Alright, I gotta get that. Right. Now I need freezer bag and that's storage. They always have in the um, storage bags, but I need to. 
don't need the freezer bags. And see, they only got freezer in the small ones. Now they got freezer in this. Let me just have to get this. Oh. Oh, I'm in here. Got those containers. I wish they would have had like a big uh, Kool Aid um, pitcher. Let me walk back here and see if I see any. Okay, I see not down there when I walk down. Excuse me, where would y'all Kool Aid pitchers be at? You don't have any stock right now. Okay, thank Sorry you. That. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Save me a trip. I ain't got no. Let me hurry up and get out of here, guys. That's my back is. Woohoo. I do want to grab one of these Asian um things that we got from here. I wanted to grab another one of those because I really do like it. I'm trying to find it. I don't need to see it. Maybe the same like this one. Probably the same here. Asian one. I don't see it, so I'm just worried. Oh, there you go. The beef and broccoli. No, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that was a good decision. Just waiting to come to my favorite Dollar Tree. Hold on. All right, Jelly Beans. So I took care of everything. Leave it from the Dollar Tree. And uh yeah. Hit it on back home. Ooh. The shopping center is packed tonight. About to be a Wednesday night. It's probably because of the day going Walmart over there. But no BJ's and are you packed? BJ's are you is more packed than Walmart. Yeah, BJ's is packed. That's BJ's over there packed. But well, Walmart packed too, but nothing like BJ's. Guess everybody getting their bulk food tonight. That's what it look like. I ain't mad at you. Go on, do what you gotta do. Cause Mama Jelly being sure out and about in these streets doing what she gotta do. Amen to that.
like no coal. I don't like no coal. And I don't like red being real hot either. So even if I was born in the summertime, July or August, that don't mean I'm gonna love it because I was that's the month I was born in. No. I keep saying I'm gonna go over here and check out this um it's a uh, tropical. Let me show y'all. See this? Tropical Smoothie Cafe. And it's a drive through And people say it's good. You see a lot of people going over there to that uh, little tropical smoothie cafe. I say I want to try it out one day. Because I, I like smoothies. Actually, I, I used to make my own smoothies all the time. Especially out West Fork. When I used to get um, fruit and stuff. Like... A whole lot of fruit and stuff like that from the churches and stuff. The church up the street I used to go to to get the free stuff. They would always give out like a lot of fruits. And I would always cut them up and put them in freezer bags. And I would make smoothies all the time. Yeah, blueberries. I used to have bananas and um, nectarines and stuff like that. And I used to get that uh, kale. A bag of fresh uh, kale from the market in a bag and put it up in there. Avocados if I come across it. Yeah, I throw everything up in my smoothies. Them smoothies be good. People think because you put greens and smoothies and tomatoes and stuff like that. Nah. I used to put greens, tomatoes, um, what's that red uh, vegetables? Not beets. It's red in the inside. No, that's not. No, it's not beets. I can't think of the name of it. But anyway, yeah that's good and also it's that red vegetable that's good for high blood pressure I just can't think of it right now drink that juice But she had left and she had went back down south to, uh, to go home. She had left it. And, uh, so sis gave it to me. So I took a little bag out the trunk to put my um, stuff from Dollar Tree in there and the stuff I had and then honey chicken because she told me to make sure I wrap him up some um, chicken wings to bring him. <laughs> my family know that man up. Come on, Carl, what is you doing? I ain't even gonna blow the horn at them because uh, people crazy nowadays. Y'all know that. I ain't trying to be blowing my horn. He get out and whip out a gun or something. He, she, I don't know if it's a man or a woman. Look at me. Look at my crew outside, y'all. <laughs> Look, honey, outside with the crew, too. <laughs> Got the crew out tonight. Got that crew out tonight. I ain't wanna... No, I'm gonna back up. I ain't trying to be parking all the way down to this end. Never back in when I have this seat belt on. There we go. And just like that, I'm home, jelly beans. Huh? What? For what? 
I'm good. I ain't coming back out. Here, honey, get this box out. We, I had to go to the UPS and pick up a package. I, I know it's from Nicole because she the one told me um, yesterday in the comments to check my um, P.O. box. Oh, Why like something else with me? I think, and, and I think that's pup pads. Why the <laughs> longer than this? Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Jelly Beans. Yeah. Hey, go to the crew. Look at me, y'all. <laughs> No. No. Uh, honey, honey, grab me one of them chairs from out of there, please. Wait a minute, Jelly Bean. Okay, Jelly Beans, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and close this vlog out while I'm down here. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching me with my day of the life. I just wanted to take y'all on to little journeys that I went on. Thanks for watching. May God bless. And don't forget, a kind gesture and a kind word goes a long way. Stay blessed, everyone. Good night. Good night.